Here we go again. It is the weekend and it is a weekend filled with lots of local racing starting in Kebeha where we have our Eastern Cape Derby 2024 as the main attraction. We do have a nine racer program all on the turf and we certainly look forward to a crackerjack of an afternoon. We then go into a double header of local racing tomorrow that is the racing from Cape Town and of course the Durban season now full in full swing and of course we're back on the high felt for a unique started to a three-year-old triple that uh, legged the series which we'll discuss a bit later on but of course i uh, don't forget you can tell us everything about the weekend ahead what you think what you think are the horses to look out for via our, our uh, x handle or you can like us on a whatsapp so that is uh, the story of uh, the uh, build-up uh, to this uh, weekend and where to a uh, better way to start the weekend than uh, to our man in uh, the uh, western cape talking about eastern cape and that is minan Mr. Nino Podesta. Nino, a very, very good morning to you. Looking forward to racing. It's the 2024 renewal of the East Cape Derby. And good to see that at least another derby is over the original distance of 2,400 meters. Good morning. Good morning, Cecil. Yes, uh, a, a nice meeting today. And uh, even though uh, there's a, it's a small field, uh, but it's uh, a little bit competitive. Yes, it's in fact, I've noticed over the last uh, few years that the derby meeting, the derby race itself has uh, become smaller and smaller in size. But I guess we want uh, quality rather than quantity. Right, race one, the first of nine is a work riders event. There's a short price favorite in the form of a much improved number two consiglieri. And uh, the market arrival, well, if you call it that, it would be number one, a resurgence. But we're not going to be uh, looking at race one in detail because it's not part of the exotics. Consiglieri with the tongue ties on, you think I uh, should get it right this afternoon? Yeah, I think uh, uh, I think it's got to have a big chance. Uh, uh, Cecil, he brings some decent form uh, from Cape Town uh, behind Casino Ace, but the one could be a, a bit of a danger. I see he ran behind the Grey King. So, oh, right. Uh, between one and two, but uh, after that it gets... Uh, it gets wide and many withdrawances. We, we don't really know much about these work riders. All right, let's get straight to an area that uh, you do know well, and that is uh, the professional riders. And it is a uh, race number two that sees at uh, the start of uh, the uh, bipod. And now, as far as race number two is concerned, it's a play soccer six, ten, and thirteen maiden juvenile play for fillies over the thousand meters. 39 to 20, Craig Zaki, Gavin Smith, a project to runway overdue that win at 22 to 10, the five fantasy girl, Richard de Fourie. And after that, you're looking at a bit of money overnight about the tenor thread of life. Ray Danielson, Tara Lang, and that's at 15 to 4. Your bipod selection is on screen. So what I will do is hand over to you and just uh, give us an overview of how you've gone about those three bankers, leg three, number six, leg four, number two, and uh, leg six, which is the derby, number one. Bets may come and go, but uh, still one of the most popular bets in the country locally is uh, the place accumulator in at Kobeha Fairview. We're racing on the turf at this afternoon uh, for our MIG uh, meeting. We've got a couple of uh, features, a couple of listed features, including the East Cape Derby. But uh, we're looking at race number three, the first leg of that PA. This is www.soccer6.co.za, Mary Trader 66. They're getting over the 1,000 metres of field of 10, and it must be said that it's good-sized fields throughout the afternoon, barring a course the derby field which is about seven or eight runners but in a race number three the one holly view that is uh, currently at uh, 18 to 10 and then we're looking at uh, 11 32 to 10 or rather by the seven anushka's world number six apt raptor island that is at 11 to 2 5 to 1 and jack just slightly shorter is the eight uh, joyous jubilee all right nina we're back together again it is a uh, race uh, number three the first leg of the pa holly view Alan Huef and uh, Richard Fury in those uh, colours of uh, Mr. Brugier. Uh, what are we looking at? A banker in that first leg? Um, Cecil, if it was 1,200 metres, I, I would definitely make it a banker. <clears throat> Maybe a 1,000 short, but it will be finishing very strongly. People uh, that can't afford a, a big pump could banker Holly's view. But I think that uh, number six, Raptor Island, and number three, uh, uh, Mr. Bodacious, 
could could give him a, a bit of a run. So I, I think I went to a one, two, three and six in, in the PA. One, two, three and a six. And I do see that uh, your uh, three has actually been uh, supported in uh, recently. Five to one, uh, seven to one is now shortened into five to one, bracketed at five to one with the eight as Julius uh, Jubilee. All right, you know, we are going to have a look at your selections. Again, it is uh, three bankers. One, two, three, and six, as the man said, in that uh, first uh, leg. And then as we progress through, leg two, bank of the six, uh, leg number three, bank of the two, and then leg five, bank of the one that is, of course, once again at the derby. And then it's three, four, and the ten. I've got a good feeling about the PA as well as a bipod from Nino this afternoon. Start to that third race, half past one. Now, don't forget, uh, you can get in touch with us. You can like us on our X handle, formerly Twitter, or you can contact us via our WhatsApp number. And, of course, uh, the uh, dis topics are mainly to discuss. And, of course, the latest uh, being at the start of the season itself, the Guineas run. And uh, Green with Envy, well, that trip well short of its best. It came through and uh, beat the field. And, of course, uh, finally, it was Raskova getting the better of uh, the uh, Grand Slam lady in the ladies' version of the Guineas. So, lost to look forward to it is going to be one of those seasons but of course it is going to be one afternoon in uh, PE that uh, will live long in the memory if uh, the three two-year-old races are anything to go by it is a uh, handicap of it is May 66 once again it is over the mile now Nino as far as the uh, race and uh, number four is concerned the first leg of uh, the pick six and I know you've been hitting the bar now and again there has been a nibble overnight uh, for a recent relocatee in the colors of uh, one of the bay head-on of Kaiser Chiefs, that is Jessica Mutong, and that is Lady Zoltanite, that that is at 18 to 10, 33 to 10 about the four, on the guest list, four to one about the seven, Maiden's Cove, two state of mind is at 13 to two, there's eight to one, and a better bar those. So, two runs in the province, first run on the turf, and next one on the poly, back on the turf, Lady Zoltanite, as Smanga Kumalo, is aboard this afternoon, and uh, we're certainly looking forward to a big run once again, how strong would you uh, make it as a uh, candidate for a banker in uh, race number four, Mr. Uh, Podesta? Uh, Cecil, I'm bankering this in all my bets. I, I like the, uh, the way she's coming back to, to the turf uh, from the, the poly. Uh, I think she's a massive runner, and I think she's going to be very hard to beat. So I'm bankering la ladies as uh, tonight in all the bets. The dangers are obviously uh, on the guest list and uh, and... Uh, Maiden's Cove, and then also maybe number three, uh, get it done, could be there or thereabouts. So that's very strong with the six, Cecil. Thank you so much for that confidence, and Nino. And you're looking at a six, a strong selection. If you had to have a pecking order, it would be a four, seven, and a three in that order. Six, four, seven, and a three. There is that pick six, and again, as I said, well, the PA and the bipod inspire me. Let's get over the ladies' alternate race, and then we can start uh, counting the money because I think the rest uh, will take care of itself. Off time to race four is the five past two. All right, the journey starts uh, to get uphill from here. It is the pinnacle stakes that awaits us as race number five, the first leg of the first jackpot. And the distance will be 1,600 meters. And just having a look at changes, not too many have come overnight. And in race five, and nothing has uh, been a posted up at all. What we do have is the one that the ultra, 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 and I say that three times, maybe four times ultra, a grading on the grass that is in the red at nine to ten. The two Cheriano is at five to two, fifteen to two, eleven Kingdom of Heaven, number five a global alley, nine to one, fourteens and a better bar those quoted runners. Nino, We've uh, waxed lyrical and I uh, say that uh, wittingly about uh, grazing in the grass and the ownership really must be uh, licking their uh, chops every time the horse uh, runs because they know they're going to get an honest run. Now, this is the pinnacle stakes. Uh, grazing in the grass is by far the best weighted. Well, not I say by far. is a point better off than the upwardly mobile number two, Cherry Anno. 
And then third in at the array, a Kings as a nine, a Crimson Princess, a recent relocatee, and a useful performer. Much traveled, I think, started in the Western Cape, came up to the high felt now in at the Eastern Cape. What are we doing as far as race number five? Leg one of uh, the first jackpot, and as far as the play goes, how are you going to tackle it? Are we going to put it in one and two, Cecil? Now, um, Grayson in the Grass is a 14 time winner. Clearly, the, the the class horse in the race waited to win, but could be a little bit short. That's why I think they've put the blinkers on first time. So we don't know how he's going to go with the blinkers. Sharia, no. She, he loves the course and distance. Four runs, three wins in the second. We don't look further than one and two. I, I've elected to bank a Sharia now in the bipod and Pia because I don't believe he'll be out of the first two. But in the pick six, we have to go one and two. Okay, one and a two in the pick six. And, of course, uh, we're looking at uh, the jackpot. This is the start of the first jackpot race five. Confirming one and two. And then at the penultimate leg, uh, race number seven. Nina has also gone one and a five. Whereas in the bipod and in the PAs, he had gone just bank of the one. He's decided to just uh, cover or hedge his bets with the five joy and a piece. That's an outlay of 112 rand. And Nino Podesta, he's our analyst. And uh, we very much appreciate his input to the meeting thus far. That was race five. Did I remind you the uh, details as to how you can get in touch with us? We'll constantly scroll at uh, the bottom of the screen. That is our X handle and our WhatsApp number. Now, a long-standing listed feature in uh, the Eastern Cape in Kibera is uh, the Dahlia Plate. It is uh, listed. It's over the 1,200 uh, meters. This is uh, the teaser before we get into the big one on the afternoon. Race number six. And now we're looking at a field that is assembled of 11 uh, runners. And uh, the betting right now for the Dahlia of later 2024 has the 11 Havana Gray at uh, 33 to 10 the 3 King Dundal uh, Dundee or King Dundal King Dundee my eyes need testing 15 to 4 along with a 10 Happy Holly the uh, 6 is Sylvonian is at 6 to 1 8 to 1 about numbers 1 Happy Family Happy Family Law rather and uh, Blue Palace it's at uh, 13 to 1 and better bother so number 1 Family Law and the 7 the Blue Palace are the 8 to 1 shots it's 32 to 10 the 11 Havana Gray and and that will see Mr. Fury and Alan Fury team up uh, with the winner last time out, and Nino. What chance of following up at uh, this uh, two-year-old uh, daughter of Heavenly Blue? Heavenly Blue has certainly come in its, to its own as the season has progressed. Yeah, uh, Cecil, well, she's only had two runs and she won the maiden. I think it was on the poly last time out. But these are two-year-olds uh, and they're open to any kind of improvement. Even number two that's just been gelded. That was very disappointing last time, but I, I see they gelded it. But in saying that, I, I have a strong feeling that Gavin Smith is going to win this race. And I would put all in, including uh, the horse that I give quite a chance, uh, number one, Family Law. What price is Family Law, by the way? Family Cesar? Law, Mr. Uh, Podesta, is at eight to one. And uh, we're looking at uh, the stable companion number 10, Happy Holly. That is shorter. That is a third sec a joint second favorite at uh, 15 to 4. So let's talk about family law. Well, it was a bit disappointing, but there was a lot of talk about it. I think it can improve. They, they put Ramsden on, who won uh, the, uh, his maiden uh, with Ramsden on. So uh, at the price, I would definitely add that, this. But this is a trappy race. I, I, I've loaded up in the, in the pick six. Uh, but I have a feeling that Gavin Smith will win it with one of with one of the four runners. That's what we like uh, to try and go against uh, the uh, grain. It is uh, looking to be an Alan Greer for Richard Faree afternoon, a dominated afternoon. But Nino has gone with Gavin Smith as a man to uh, certainly have a massive say in race number six. He's well represented four runners. It's one, two, three, four, six, ten, and eleven. As you heard from Nino, he's putting all of them in that uh, jackpot. The second jackpot, the outlay will be 168 rand. Race six is off at 15.50.
Right, prize money and the big one of the afternoon, the 2024 renewal of uh, the East Cape Derby is at 350,000 rand at 218,000 or just over going uh, to the winning stable. And it is the leading stables well represented. Alan Creo for Gavin Smith, Kelly Mitchley and uh, Sharon Colson also has a representation in the race. It is uh, the renewal off at uh, 1545, a last chance to get involved in a pick three. Now looking at uh, the uh, odds, it is uh, 15 to 20 about a runner going on a five run hopefully a five run winning blitz and making it a total of seven wins from 13 outings and that would be Alan Creof and Richard Faree. Margaret Rival would be the stable companion in the same ownership and that is the five a joy and a peace that is Mr. Kendall Minnie getting the rider from Alan Creof. Now as far as the race number seven is concerned uh, Mr. Podesta it's a um, fairy night it's a race for fairy night to lose or do you reckon it's uh, just a stable companion to worry about? Um, Cecil, I think uh, Ferdy Knight is the class horse in the race, and I think it will win it. Obviously, the, the only danger is a stable companion, Joy and Peace, but uh, surely uh, Richard would have picked the right one. And even though there's a bit of doubt whether he'll stay 2400, being by lecture, I believe he will, because he's class. And uh, that was that's, for me, the best bet on the card. But in the pick six, I have covered... Uh, with number five, Joy and Peace, just in case. So you don't want to know about anything else, just those two? Absolutely. A two-horse race. Uh, oh, finish and clear. one-horse race, but the danger is number five. Finish and clear. If you're one of those who ventures exactors, a box exactor, maybe you could get the second favourite beating the favourite. And of course, as you know, the difference is remarkable if that were to be the outcome. Quarter to four is the time to take note of uh, for the East Cape Derby 2024 race up. For race number eight, our penultimate and the last chance to get involved in a double. We drop back in a trip uh, to 2,000 metres and it's a merit rate at 90 that uh, will be that penultimate event of uh, the uh, day. As far as uh, the betting goes, well, it is not such a short price favour, but it sees a Richard team up uh, with Anna Kriyev again and it is in the colours of the day A. Double SM, and that is five Central City bidding for a third win from 16 outings. That is at three to one. Five to one is the four Dowser. One official secret, six to one. The seven Magical Midlands, 15 to two. Eight uh, Pay Night is at 15 to two. The three Say Yes, a horse that I was very, very fond of here on the high felt. He's back on the turf, and that is at nine to one, bracketed at nine to one with the nine as Storm Commander. Elevens and uh, better bar those uh, quoted uh, runners. All right, uh, Mr. Podesta, what about uh, race number eight? Uh, this is uh, the race where we could actually be looking for a nice quartet and uh, some sort of exactor and a swinger bet so to get out of, get us out of it if it's been a favorite day. Yes, uh, uh, Cecil. Uh, obviously, they put the claimer on official secret to get the four kilos off. This horse is unbeaten over course and distance. Two runs, two wins. So if the kid can handle the horse, I think that's a major runner. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, Dowser is the, the main danger. Central City and, and a Magical Midland. I'm quite sure that the winner will come from one of those four horses. My narrow first selection is Dowser to beat Official Secret, Central City, Magical Midland. And for those that want to add in number three, say yes, they could do so. So you're saying four, one. Just give us those numbers again. A Dowser to beat Central, uh, Central Official Secret and then third and fourth. Uh, number five, Central City for third, and uh -huh. seven, Magical Midlands for fourth. All right, a four, one, a five. You did like Magical Midlands last time out, and I think uh, you had a good tickle on uh, the uh, uh, what was a uh, good value in the race itself. 25 to two, I think, is uh, the official SP. Well played then. Right, so that is the selections uh, from Nino. He is uh, siding with the four Dowser. That is Sharon Colson and Lou Mkotwa to uh, take out race number eight. Feedback on uh, your thoughts on uh, East Cape Derby Day. That has uh, been at uh, this afternoon's uh, meeting uh, coming through from uh, Kaveha. We are at uh, Fairview Racecourse where we have the entire nine race uh, program on uh, the uh, turf uh, course. And talk about nine uh, races. The ninth race has a very well backed uh, number four body electric who officially has a, a second run in PE. He did once raid a win with uh, Brett Crawford, but now established uh, with the Anna Creof stable. Richard Furry retains a ride. Has a wide 
widest draw of a 15 to overcome over the 1200 meters. So that is not a problem. It's down the straight. And uh, that has been well supported into 16 to 10. I know you could have got 15 to 4 when the bookies started pricing up. The uh, six cabaret is at 11 to 2, number 10, red sash at 6 to 1. 13s into 12s is the 13. Uh, listen to the ocean. The three princess Debs is at 14s, 15s, and uh, better. Bar those are quoted around. So that is a race and number nine. And of course, I know where that money has been coming through from overnight. And that is Nino. He liked Body Electric first time out. And he thought he's not going to allow it to uh, allow him to miss the uh, wedding, Esther, so to speak. So he's going to go to the wedding as opposed to going to the funeral. And I believe that is your money there, Mr. Podesta. Yes, it is. I was to beat him. <laughs> By the way, I think it was with uh, Candice Pez. Not with, uh, no, Candice uh, Pez, of course. No, I'm just looking at the kids with uh, silks and uh, naturally thinking about that. Yes, my apologies. Yes. Yes, I, I, I like the way she's coming back over the 12 on the turf, which I think will suit her down to the ground. I do make the nearest danger number 10, Red Sash. And then one of our team members uh, sent me a message that they like Princess Debs. So I've gone the swinger route, boxing three, four, and ten. But my clear first choice is body electric. All right. So now I ask you a question. I didn't know whether you are saying yes, it is. Uh, as to is it your money that has been uh, lumping in on uh, body electric? No, no, it's not my money. <laughs> I don't know whose money that is. All but, right. Uh, now do carry on. I think it's a big runner. I think it is a horse to beat. Thank you so so much. Right. Looking forward to a great afternoon. And there is uh, the selection box swing at 3, 4, and the 10 from uh, Nino. It's uh, perhaps even a way to go as far as a uh, box exactors. I still really, 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 and I think many people do uh, believe, and uh, it's no science, uh, rocket science, to know that the exactor is the best bet on uh, the tote as far as you're concerned. That has been racing, and thanks so much to Nina Podesta once again. 5 to uh, 5 is the off time to this Phillies and Mayor 78. It will be over the 1200 meters first race the first of our nine is a work riders event and that'll be off at 12 20. thanks to one and all that has been a fair view racing for this friday